What's going on, guys? Chase, ChaseWins.com. Happy Monday, everyone. Monday, the 23rd of February, 2021. It's still Sunday evening here, but I'm recording this video now because I'm waiting on some player information on a game. Line's already out, but I'm waiting to hear about two players in particular. I have a feeling that that'll come out late tonight, midnight, maybe a little later. I will probably still be up working. And if the information comes out that these two particular players will play, then I can go ahead and release this video. But I want to go ahead and get the video done in the event that happens so that I don't miss out on being able to give you a free play. It's going to be a very busy Monday morning. We have a ton of stuff coming up, so let's get right into it. Number one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Come join this big family of ours. Start making money on these free plays and everything that we offer you. Hit the join button for channel membership. You can look over the three different levels of memberships, what all they include, what all you will get, live streams, additional videos like we put out this weekend, discounts, I mean, all sorts of stuff that you will get that is exclusive for the members of this channel. We already have people signing up. They're already taking advantage, and we want you a part of that family as well. So make sure you check that out. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, as far as that goes, a huge congratulations. Being that it is still Sunday, this morning, Jerry had his game of the month in soccer, and it cashed, and it cashed easy, just like we promised you it would. Soccer's a 90-minute game, guys. 60 minutes into the game, there was still a third of the game left. It had already cashed. It was easy as could be. Most people were counting their money before they even rolled out of bed this morning, and that's just the way we like it. Six weeks ago, he had a he had a game of the month that cashed in the same fashion. And then four straight weekends in a row, he cashed a game of the week and now another game of the month. He's on a six-game run with these plays, and we're not stopping anytime soon. This week, this coming week, if everything goes the way we want to, between daily top plays, games of the week, and games of the month, and who knows – even a potential game of the year, this week may be, this week may include more top-rated games than any other week has in the last six months. It's going to be a big one. So if you're not on a package, there is no better week than this week to get on one. Get on a short tournament if you want one, if you want to test the waters with us. But I've got a promo code for you, especially if you've been with us before, you know what we're all about. This can give you some really good value a good bang for your buck, and allow you to save some money on something that you know you already want. If you use the coupon code MONDAY, yep, just the word MONDAY, M-O-N-D-A-Y, all lowercase, you can get 20% off Jerry's soccer year pass, which is 12 months, 365 days, 52 weeks, whatever way you want to look at it of every single premium and daily top play he has in the sport of soccer in every league that he covers, and there's a lot of them. It's usually $7.99 for this year package. You can get 20% off by using that coupon code. Or the other package that you can get 20% off on is one of the most popular ones, the 30-day all-access pass. Everybody wants to be a one-year all-access member. Everybody wants to be able to get the games of the week and games of the month without having to buy them separately. Well, the only way you can do that is to be an all-access member. You can get the 30-day all-access pass, which includes everything, every sport, NASCAR, horse racing, soccer, all of my sports, every premium play, every daily top play, and yes, every game of the week, game of the month, and game of the year absolutely free included in there. It's $4.99 for the month, guys. You would spend that just on buying games of the week and month in that 30-day span. You would be spending $99 a week just to get the premium and daily top plays, and you wouldn't even be getting NASCAR. $499 is the price of that package. You can get 20% off that. You can save yourself $100 bucks by using the coupon code MONDAY at checkout. When you go to checkout, at the purchase page, you choose one of those two packages, the Soccer Year Pass or the 30-Day All-Access Pass. Once it, once it takes you to the, the uh, credit card page, you'll see a spot that says Coupon Code. Type in the word Monday in all lowercase, and it will save you 20% on either one of those two packages. That's your Monday promo. Also, everybody knows what we do in horse racing. I gave out two horse racing picks on Twitter 
over the weekend from our horse racing expert. One of those, both of those race winners cashed. One of them was plus 250 odds. Easy winners. His packages start back first week of March. You can get that package now for 50% off. We charge $999. That gives you every single horse racing pick. It doesn't matter how high or low rated it is for every one that we give out in 2021. Every single one from now until we're done for the year. We charge $999 for the package. You can get it for $499 this week only. It's already available on the site. And guess what? First week of March, it begins. So don't miss out on that. Um, and I think that's it as far as the promos go for Monday. So anyway, congratulations to everyone who cashed in on Jerry's pack or Jerry's game of the month. Unbelievable. So many people, he had a bunch of people with him in Vegas doing it. One guy put up a whop of money on that play. I mean, for some people that would be life changing money. And he cashed in with absolute ease, ease. So Congrats to everybody that was with Jerry. Had a good time over the weekend. He will be back in the office on Tuesday. He's traveling on Monday. so But he will have plays. Or at least he should have plays if anything meets the criteria. So anyway, he's looking at another big play for this coming week. I've got two possible huge plays coming this week. One in basketball, one in hockey. So we'll see what happens um, and what the lines come out there with that. I've got two games still ongoing, one with Iowa and Penn State, and then I also have one involving OKC on the money line, minus 130 over the Cleveland Cavaliers. We had a little typo. One of the office members typed that game wrong. The bet itself didn't change. We just typed one of the team names wrong. That was corrected, and about an hour before the game started, we actually sent out the email to look because some people were like, hey, the bet seems right, but we think you have a team name wrong. It was a clerical error by one of the office staff. We did apologize. I am sorry. It's a human error, guys. We're all human. We make mistakes. But it was fixed. Right now, that game is ongoing. OKC is up by double digits, so all they have to do is close out that game. And if they win, that'll be another ticket cash for us. We cashed in on Drake. We did drop UNLV. And um, so we still got some games on going. We'll see what happens, and we can um, you can watch those games for yourself, check the recap, or we can re-go over them on Tuesday's video. But guys, thank you so much for uh, cashing in that big play with us. I know it meant so much to a lot of you. Some of you were expressing your frustrations about how other services had you down so many units for the week, and that brought you back to profit, or it brought you back to even, or it put a huge dent in what they had you down so i'm glad you got to do it and guys instead of buying these games of the week and games of the month over and over get on an all access pass get on one for 30 days and at the end of that you'll be able to use your profit to become a one-year all access member and if anybody wants to upgrade to a one-year all access membership send me an email chase at chase wins.com I'll, I'll give you a discount that way because guys that's the name of the game here turn you into a long-term customer a serious investor that's what our job is our job is to not nickel and dime you every week. So just do yourself a favor, save some money, and be a long-term customer. Okay, I think that's everything we've got going over. I've got paperwork that I'm signing now. And while I do that, let's get you on a free play. Now, we have, i tell you what, let me double check something. Again, if you're watching this video, then the player confirmations did come in because as I'm doing this video, there's a chance that a, that a certain player may not play due to having not really an injury in his last game, but had a little scare, set out a game, and he's questionable. But I have a feeling he's going to play. If I didn't think he was, we wouldn't even be talking about it. But again, if he doesn't, you won't even see this video. So, <clears throat> as of right now, Eastern Kentucky University, Southeast Missouri State. This is a 3 p.m. game on Monday. All right? This game right now. Right now, Eastern Kentucky is laying three points, okay? And I think this game is going to go up. I could see this game getting, I mean, all the way to five, to be completely honest with you. Right now, they're laying three. The line is too low. I think this is an overreaction. But if you look at the game, the market's trying to tell us something here. At least someone within the odds maker circle is, is understanding that you can't give this game away for free. Right now, lines three. 
Eastern Kentucky is heads and tails the better team. Now, again, you might look at their overall record and say, oh, yeah, well, they look like it because one team's like 18 and five and the other one's like eight and four. Okay, that doesn't mean anything. If you look at the two teams at the style of play, you would say the teams look pretty similar. They both play the same style of ball. They both are about even on defense as far as how aggressive they are. But there's one big difference here. Eastern Kentucky is a bigger team. They are a faster team. And they're just fundamentally better. They've got it figured out. They have more experienced players. You know, they have juniors and seniors, whereas Southeastern Missouri State, they have some juniors and seniors. Some of them are walk-ons. They have two walk-on seniors that are on that roster. Guys, that's not a lot of experience to say that you didn't play there. They also have one person that spent two years out of it due to a serious leg injury. So when you talk about experience-wise, the two teams are f far more separated than what this line would tell you. Now, again, I think this is an overreaction because I hate using this term revenge because I don't believe in revenge in a lot of things. But in college basketball, it does exist a little bit. And while Eastern Kentucky has been heads and tails the better team all year, they did fall to Southeastern Missouri State. But in that game, not only did, did Missouri have probably their best game of the season, bar none, you also had two of the main starters for Eastern Kentucky, two of the most dominant players on the team, plus the best free throw shooter on the team is in that mix, not playing that game. So they were very shorthanded. They only had seven players in the rotation that day. So there were only two players being able to be rotated in or out at any given time. That is cause for major, major fatigue. So, again, you're at a disadvantage. In this game, I think that it's an overreaction because when you break this game down, even if you were going in with the same teams, the same people out, the same people in, then this line would be accurate. I, well, truth be told, I would have Eastern Kentucky laying about four and a half, even if they were shorthanded on no rest, yada, 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 which was exactly how they were in this first matchup. You don't have that now, or at least you don't have it. Even if the player that I am concerned about doesn't play, you would still be not as shorthanded. You would still have more rest than you did coming in instead of playing on a back-to-back. -back. So you don't have that now. So why is the line only four and a half? It's an overreaction. Or why is the line only three and it should be four and a half in that? It's an overreaction. If these teams come in at full strength, this line should be nine all day long. This is way off, way off. I'm not saying they couldn't get beat again. I mean, obviously, Southeastern Missouri State, if anybody's got the cheat code to it, they do. But part of that cheat code came with they got to play a shorthanded team. And they're not going to be playing that shorthanded team again, at least not as shorthanded. So it's going to be more difficult. But then you have one other factor that should raise your eyebrow if you're following this. Guys, it doesn't matter what the line is in a game. If you're looking at a game in basketball or football, I don't care how high the spread is. If you're looking at, at a, a spread that's minus 12, always look at the money. Always see if it adds up. Does it coincide with what that line is? Because if it doesn't, you know that something's off right there. So this is one of those games where the novice typical gambler would go out and say, okay, well, the line's low. Why is it low? Because what's the first thing that the typical gambler does? Look at win-loss records. Well, you got one that's 18 and 6 versus 8 and 4. That's a big difference. That's a big difference in the amount of games that the teams have played. And look at the win-loss records. These teams are, I mean, a mile apart. So what would you immediately think as a, as a novice better? You would immediately want to go with Eastern Kentucky. But then you would say, but why is the line so low? That's what you always hear. Oh, this team is this record. Why is the line so low? When it shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter what the win-loss record is. It matters about that matchup and that matchup only. So the first thing they would think is, why is the line so low? 
when the win-loss records is this. It's what you always hear. But then they would go back and look, oh, well, Southeastern Missouri State beat them on the road. Now they're at home. Hmm. This is a trap game. So you always say it's a trap game. It's a trap game. It's a trap game. Yeah, you hear a lot. Yeah, certain someone likes to say that a lot. Dumbass. Trap game. No such thing as a as a true trap game. But anyway, so what would that do? You would have your people that are gonna believe in Eastern Kentucky, but then you would have the people that overthink it, think they've got this scoop of going, hmm, this is a trap game. I'm gonna take Southeastern Missouri State in the points. They're going to win out, right? But in a line of three, the typical money line should be anywhere from a buck thirty to at most a dollar sixty, and that dollar sixty is stretching it. And usually, you have that dollar sixty when you're talking about teams like a Duke, North Carolina, Kentucky, UCLA playing a conference opponent, but far less superior. It would be like most years, North Carolina or Duke playing Wake. Something like that. That way you might get a high money line with a lower spread. But 160 is going to be your max. This money line, the spread's three. The money line is $1.95. Red flag anyone? That is because they're using this line to their advantage of saying, well, they've already been beat by Southeastern Missouri. They still might be shorthanded. Maybe. We don't know. You're almost being pushed in the direction of Southeastern Missouri State, but the line's so low that you might want to go back the other way. But then that line for the game, for the, for the novice better is going to make them want to go right back to the other side because they're going to say the line doesn't make sense. All you got to do is look at the money line because the money line being at 195 gives you typically a spread of about five and a half, typically. Well, that right there, based on the information we have right this very second, is spot freaking on. If they have their main guy, their stud player out, and this is exactly what we're working with, five and a half is the perfect line. It's right there at what it should be. I got four and a half, but again, I go much deeper into things that most people don't consider. So five and a half is a perfect line. So what this line's already telling you is we're giving you three. It should be five and a half. That means that what happens if this, if and when this player says, okay, well, he's going to play, he's announced, he's good to go, he's cleared, he's going to take the court tonight. What do you think this money line is going to do? The spread might only go up to three and a half, to four, four and a half. That money line is going to skyrocket to 250, just like that. Because you're going to have those people play it. They want people to say, okay, for the people that think that Southeastern Missouri can pull the upset, they want to get ballsy, they want to go money line, what's that going to do? It's not going to give them much value. The, it's just not there. In this game, Southeastern Missouri State just doesn't have the weapons. They don't. Can they win this game? Yes, it's college basketball. You're dealing with kids. They could win this game by 30. But if both of these teams play like themselves, if Eastern Kentucky doesn't have some just god-awful things take place that changes the whole landscape of the game, and they come to play, they just don't have the weapons to keep up with Eastern Kentucky. They, they just don't. Not they, It's just two completely different teams going in opposite directions. And right now, at minus three, I'll gladly take it. I think it's a gift. I really, really do. Now, guys, I don't know what your book uses. If you're finding a book under 160 on this money line, take it. I mean, take it and run for the hills, but you're not going to. Right now, I'm seeing 190s and 195s everywhere, so don't you dare take the money line because that's just a risk. That's just a dumb risk. Lay the three points, and like I said, it's going to have to be Eastern Kentucky beat themselves on this one. I've been wrong before. I could easily be wrong again, but I'm not wrong a lot. I'm going to take Eastern Kentucky. I'm going to take them with a smile on my face without thinking twice about it. I've done the numbers. The numbers just don't add up. 
So that's going to be your free play. That is a premium play. It's already on the card, along with a play from Jerry for tomorrow. Um, and again, I still have a lot of work to do on Monday's card, so there will be more action. Should have some uh, NHL action going on as well. Make sure you get on a package. Use that coupon code, guys. Don't spend more than you have to. The coupon code expires at midnight Monday night. At midnight Eastern time, there is no me going and taking it down. It expires. So at 12.01, if you try to go in and use that coupon code for one of those two packages, it's not going to work. So make sure you utilize that 20% off while you can, the soccer year pass or the 30-day all-access. And if you do want to get the one-year all-access, I'll gladly give you 20% off. You just have to email me, and I'll create a coupon for code for you to do that. It's completely up to you, and that will allow you to take a huge chunk of money off of that price, and we'll get you on as a long-term customer and turn you into a real investor. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for another week with us. I can't wait to share another one with you. We're going to have some big plays, some big action, and make sure you join that, join the membership for the YouTube channel. We will be seeing a lot of cool stuff this week. I love you guys, and I'll see you back for another one on Tuesday.